What is up my dudes, Kevin here, we are back with a brand new Red Dead Online video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys an amazing location where fish are just going to flop into our hands and just fill our pockets with money. So if you guys enjoyed this or if it is helpful, drop a like down the video and comment down below what do you think of this spot or any spot similar to this that you guys know of. And besides that, subscribe to the channel and let's get this video going. So as many of you all know, there are plenty of great fishing spots in Red Dead Online to choose from, but in my opinion, this may be one of the best ones out there as there's tons of fish that spawn here and a wide variety of them as well. So basically to get this spot going guys, all you do is take out your fishing rod and a whole bunch of fish are going to start to spawn in. You make sure you switch to your lake lure or river lure, you don't have to cast it in or anything and they're just going to start spawning in out there. And if we pop off our eagle eye guys, we can see there's a ton of fish already spawning in and a wide variety at that. We got some bass, we got some muskies it looks like, uh, some channel catfish, a whole variety of those. So let me show you on the map where this is. And it's going to be right here guys near Logris. Right above it you want to come to this exact location. Now once you're at this spot, you guys, there's a couple ways you can get these fish. As you can see it's already happening now. They're going to start just swimming onto land. I don't know why, but they do. They just start killing themselves. One's already dead over there. You can see him on the shore. And we got these ones over here heading towards the shore over here, and they're going to kill themselves as well. I don't know why this happens. You can see they're all heading over to the same exact location. It's some kind of bug in the area that causes them to swim here, and they just die. I'm not sure. But basically, all you do, guys, is take out your fishing rod, and you can literally just stand here, and the fish will pile up. You can go do whatever you want, and you can make money passively doing it this way. Now, there's a few ways to speed this method up, as it already is great itself. What you can do is simply fish while the other fish are killing themselves. As you can see, I'm not even doing anything. We've been standing here this whole time and we have, that's at least 10 plus fish right there trying to kill themselves. I don't know what's going on here. Maybe, you know, things are getting a little rough for them and they're like, screw this. I'm just getting out of this water. I'm not too sure. All I care about is that we're getting a bunch of free fish without any work. But like I was saying, you guys can go ahead and cast out your rod while they're killing themselves and speed up the process. So you're pretty much be catching fish and catching fish over here as well at the same time making it double as fast or twice as fast now on top of that another thing you guys can do is grab a carcass and as you know carcasses attract fish to them so that will pretty much just speed up the process of these fish coming to land and killing themselves so you could get like a deer carcass or a turkey carcass and bring it onto the shore right here drop it on in the water and that will speed up the process as well but you don't even have to do either of those if you want you could literally just put away your fishing rod you could just Sit here for a little bit, like two minutes or so, and a whole bunch of fish will come your way. Now for these little bass that you guys see swimming on shore that are not quite dead yet, well you can kill those quite simply. All you gotta do is run near them, pretty much just run over them and help push them onto land. And this is just gonna help them kill themselves a bit quicker. So we got some catfish it looks like, these might be smallmouth or largemouth bass. And there we go, help speed up the process of them dying. Now it's also important that you guys do not let the fish sit here for too long because well they will start sinking into the water and they're going to be a lot harder to see at that point but if you use your eagle eye you're going to be able to see them regardless as you can see the first fish that died has now sunken into the mud somewhere around here i don't even know where he went i actually can't even see him with my eagle eye at this point so i guess we have to call it a loss on that one but as well look at the water guys there's still a bunch of fish spawning in constantly so those fish are going to be killing themselves as well throughout this whole thing now, while these fish are doing their thing and killing themselves, let's talk about how you're going to get these into the butchers. As you can see, I got a cart right here, and it's a bucket cart. That's the type of cart that you guys are going to want for this method. Now, to get one of these carts, guys, the best location possible to get these is going to be Valentine. They're literally all over the place in this area, so all you do is come here during daytime, and you want to pretty much just take laps around the town. Usually, it takes a few laps or maybe just one, and you guys will find a cart. Also, you can find them all along these roads here and down here as well pretty much this whole general area guys you'll run into these carts which is very simple now of course the cart is not mandatory you guys do not need the cart but it's going to help you guys improve the amount of money you're going to get from doing this you don't have to make multiple trips because as you know you can only hold one of these on your horse if you bring two horses that's only two max and on top of that you can just have little fish in your bag but if we could throw at least like i don't know eight of these you could easily fit eight of these in a cart you guys are looking at way more money than you would be if you just went with two of them so I'm going to go ahead and move some of these big boys on over to the land now, just so they don't get in the way of anything else. So we got Long Nose Nars. I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly. Nars, I believe. Uh, let's go throw these on the land over here. And let's see what the other kind is right here. I believe it's going to be the catfish, like I said. So it actually wasn't muskies. I got the Nars mixed up with the muskies, but it is catfish here. So let's move all these on over to the land. 
And we still have some more fish heading on over. All right, so here's seven of the large fish already. And we also have some little guys to still pick up as well. We got the bullhead catfishes. Over here looks to be another one or it might be a bass. Let's see what we got right here. Another catfish. And we got a whole bunch sitting over here as well. I believe these are all catfish as well. So you guys can get catfish, the small ones. You guys can get bluegills. You guys can get largemouth bass, I believe, or it might be smallmouth that are here. On top of that, we can get the large fish that we have on the shore, which are the gars or nars and the uh, channel catfishes. So you guys can get a wide variety here, like I said earlier. So I'm going to pick all these up and the fish are going to keep coming. So pretty much you can stay until you're happy with what you got here. It's like they never really stopped coming for me ever. They kind of just keep spawning in as you take them out. But uh, make sure you guys use your eagle eye because oftentimes you can see there's fish that kind of blend in. You're not going to be able to really see them unless you're using your eagle eye. So uh, let me pick up the rest of these catfish right here. I think. But basically at this point when you guys cleared out most of the big fish, what you can do is when these little guys are still coming, if you want to stay and wait, you can simply just start fishing while they're coming to help speed up the process of clearing them all out. So that's what I'm going to do right here. Let's do a few casts and uh, you can use whatever bait you want here. Even bread bait works at this location. You don't really have to worry too much about what you're using because there's a whole bunch here that are going to bite pretty quickly. As you can see, we already got one. Now, once you guys are happy with the amount of fish you got, to load this up, you want to kill an alligator nearby. There's going to be a whole bunch of them. should not be hard to find. And you want to park your cart parallel with the alligator so you can walk on top of the alligator. And we'll be able to walk right up to the front of this cart like that. And we can drop the fish on top. Now, another way you can do that if there's no alligators around is open up your map. And you guys want to go to these shacks right over here. There's a bunch of shacks right here. Now, to do this, you guys want to make sure that you carry everything over in groups because you know the fish will despawn on the ground so for example pick you know pick one up bring it to about like right here we could even bring it to this island go back get the other ones and then just do it in groups and you got to move them all the way until you get over here but i highly recommend that you guys use the alligator instead so it just doesn't take all that time moving on the fish but anyways i'm gonna load up all these fish that we got guys and then once they're all loaded up we're gonna head on into the butchers and i'll show you how much money we're gonna get for these now also let's look at the little fish that i got during this and we got all these little fish we got smallmouth bass or largemouth bass catfish bluegills pickerels and a rock bass so we got all those on top of these large fish so we can expect to get a good amount of money all right the carts all loaded up i did lose i think two of the fish because i ran too far away by accident so make sure you guys do not make that mistake like i did but we still, I think we have like five of them in here, which is a very good amount. We start out with seven. So not too bad. I'm going to take these back on into the butchers. We're going to head on into roads. It looks like some people spawned in around the San Denis area. So I'm not even going to risk it. I'm going to go to roads. Roads is completely empty. And whatever you do, do not drive too fast in this car because you don't want the fish flying out. And uh, if you're not around an area where you can get in the back of it, where you're going to have some trouble. All right, so here we are at the butchers just pulled up. Now, you guys want to completely unload your cart. Take all the fish out and put them on the ground. Because if you do it one at a time, the fish, are, they, they can glitch in the cart and they'll fall through it. It might get a little messed up. So you want to make sure before you start selling, take every single fish out of the cart. All right, guys, once you emptied all your fish out, let's begin selling and see what we got here. So the big one we got was the channel catfish. Those go for $5 each. Not too bad. Go ahead and sell that. On top of that, we got the rock bass. We got the chain pickles that we got, uh, two dollars for all those. The bluegills they go for seventy five cents, three seventy five in total for all that. Go ahead and sell those. We got the bass, largemouth bass guys. So you actually might want to go there until you guys have ten of these because there is ten at this location. So I should have actually got three more and made that ten in total, which would be twenty bucks. But we got fourteen, which is still good. You guys get the idea. Uh, we got the grizzly mutton. Uh, actually, this isn't from this location, so don't worry about that. And we got the bullhead catfish, 75 cents each, another 525. Not bad for that. So let me go ahead and grab the other ones. Let's see what these gnars are worth. And these ones go for five dollars each as well. So you guys can easily get, let's say, about eight of those in your car. I had a little mishap and lost some. But if you have eight of those, eight times five, you're looking at an extra 40 on top of these small fish. You guys max out your bass and whatnot. You're looking at a good, I would say. 70 to 85 dollars which is not bad it's a pretty easy run it doesn't take that long at all and it doesn't really take any work it's a nice passive way to gain some money the only thing that's a bit of a hassle is the cart which i know some people don't like but it should work out pretty smoothly for you guys so i'm gonna continue selling the rest of the fish that i got so I do hope this was helpful and I do hope you guys enjoyed it. A nice way to switch things up. I myself, I enjoy a variety of ways to make money. I don't like sticking to the same one too often. So if you guys did enjoy it, drop a like down the video and comment down below any things we can add to this method to make it even better. And on top of that, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you all next time for a brand new video. Peace.